Hey, how you doing? Austin here. Obviously, uh, I'm not at home. I am this week, uh, got in yesterday at a friend's wedding in Cabo. So my wife and I came down here for this event and uh, obviously this is where I'm at. So there's a little bit of a, you know, if you just want a calming effect on your day, that's not a bad view to have. Especially not a bad view to wake up to a day like we have right here, right now. You're probably, you know, looking around trying to figure out what's going on in the crypto market. Uh, this is what I talked about in the last three or four days, actually in the last week or so. Sorry, I changed my hands uh, holding the, 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 the phone. Um, we got the CPI data. Uh, it came out today. It was pretty much exactly what I had been talking about. It was in line with uh, you know, the fact that it's not very, very good, right? And so it came in at 8.2. Uh, that was a year over year increase. And the interesting thing about it is that the core number inside of that 8.2 rose up as well. That's the number that, uh, you know, that, that that's not good. As additionally, if you look at the sectors where the inflation went up, uh, it was housing, um, uh, groceries, and medical costs, uh, things like that. Uh, the price of cars, used cars actually dropped a little bit, uh, kind of overall as an aggregate. And But really what it came down to is the fact that, again, everything in our life is costing more. And this basically locked in, this plus the jobs report that we got uh, earlier this month, locked in the fact that there is going to be a rate hike in November and most likely one in December as well, the next two times that the FOMC, the Federal Reserve meets. So, and most likely 75 basis points, which would be unprecedented if that's what has to, what happens. Um, so what does that mean? That means that crypto and stocks are taking a hit. But the interesting thing about it is they're not down as dramatically as you might think, because quite frankly, I think everybody, everybody expected and kind of felt like this was not going to be a good CPI uh, consumer price index inflation report. Okay. So I've already, I've been watching it all morning. Um, Bitcoin dropped drop down, you know, de uh, into the 18,000, but it's actually since come back a little bit. Uh, Ethereum has dropped down, it's in the 1200 range. It's, you know, still down about two or 3%. Uh, others, pretty much across the board, everything is down. So that's what's going on. And again, I've been talking about this in videos leading up to today that this was going to happen. So if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button below, gotta sneeze, excuse me. Um, and I will keep you updated throughout the day today. I feel like I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Uh, it's a live video, I'm not editing that out. And uh, just keeping you updated, that's what I care about. So if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe because I, I basically make videos every single day to really have one goal in mind. It's just to help you navigate crypto, be more informed, know what's going on so that you can make better decisions about what is you know right for you, for your investments, for your family, for yourself, all of that. And that's what I have for you. So I'll be here, um, I'm gonna go down and grab some breakfast and stuff, but uh, as always, I'll be around for you. Take care, I appreciate you. Thank you. Bye.